In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the serial plotter on the Arduino IDE so you can get a nice visualization of the data you receive from a sensor, for example, a potentiometer. All right, so to get started, I have created a very simple program. So I create a counter that I initialize to zero, and then I print that counter on with the serial print lens. So I print every 10 milliseconds and every time I increase the counter by one. Okay, so I should print zero, one, two, three, etc. Let's run that code. So I'm going to upload to my Arduino board. Let's name serial plotter. So the first thing is if I open the serial monitor here, you can see that we have zero, one, two, etc. That's going very fast, but not too fast. Okay. And now I'm going to Tools, okay, you have Serial Monitor and you have Serial Plotter. And here you can see also the shortcut you will have for your computer. So I open the Serial Plotter and you can see, so let's just give it some time because we had a width value from a previous run. And now you can see we have a line that is increasing, okay, because that's the counter we are printing, okay. So that is how you can visualize data instead of just uh, printing on the serial monitor, you can visualize data with the serial plotter. And that's very important. If you want to use the serial plotter, you just have to send the number you want to print. Okay, that should be a number. So it can be a round number, can be a float number, but don't send any other text. Okay, if you send some other text, that's probably not going to work. So now you have seen what you can do with a counter and we are going to see now a real circuit to see actually how you can use the serial plotter with real life applications. So I have here a simple circuit with simply a potentiometer. Okay. So to connect the potentiometer to your Arduino, you have one of the leg on the side, which is connected to ground. On the other side, you connect to five volt and the middle pin you connect to an analog pin which is for me here A0. And then what we are going to do is simply to get the value from the potentiometer in our code and send that with the serial.println so we can monitor with serial monitor and also the serial plotter. So I'm going to remove this, I'm going to remove this and this, and I'm going to do a define here, potentiometer pin with A0. So we can use potentiometer pin instead of A0 in our program. I don't need to set it up in the setup because this is already an analog input pin. So what I can simply do now is do serial.print and then analog read. Okay, should turn orange from the potentiometer pin and I close the parentheses. And actually let's add uh, this delay here of 10 milliseconds. So the program is quite simple. We just print the value we get from the sensor every 10 milliseconds. All right, and now let's run the code on the Arduino board. So let's upload. And I'm going to open the serial monitor first to see the value. So we get uh, 800 something, okay. And now I am going to open the uh, serial plotter and you will see on the serial plotter. So we have the value here, which is 800 something, the same we had with the serial monitor. And now if I go on one direction here, I can go all the way down to zero and then all the way up to, we should get to 1023, which is the value we get from the analog read function, okay? So that is a very convenient way to simply visualize what's happening with your sensor. So again, make sure you only send the data you want to analyze and nothing else, okay? You just use serial.println with the data, nothing else, no text, no other data. And then, well, you can use the serial plotter with any sensor you want. You can use it with a potentiometer, with a push button, with any analog sensor, for example, a photoresistor. To measure the luminosity, you can use it with a ultrasonic sensor to measure a distance, well, whatever sensor you want. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step 
in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.